So we have a Bryant gas water boiler and here's an aquastat. So this comes from thermostat. So the transformer sends 24 volts to the thermostat and it goes to white wire and it comes back from the thermostat as red wire and this connected on left side of the aquastat in this case and that means call for heat if there is call for heat the power will go through the aquastat and then supply go through the limit and supplies the gas valve so gas valve gets energized and burners come on now once temperature is reached the aquastat will actually this switch in between here will open so power from here will not go through this little switch it's like a switch it's exactly a switch so let's say temperature is 180 degrees switch is broken it's open no power goes through that means the gas valve lose power and no more burners but at the same time we still have power up to this point and from this point power is also supplied to single pole single throw switch That single pole, single throw switch is right here. It's a relay, right? So, so relay still gets power, and that means the circulator pump still gets power. So, circulator pump keeps running all the time until there is no more call for heat. Once call for heat is satisfied and thermostat not sending 24 volts anymore, circulator will also stop. So the relay is, as I mentioned, single pole, single throw. This is the first one right here. We can see that this is the coil, 1 and 3 is coil, probably resistance about 70 ohms in this case, it might be 100, I don't know. But, but once this is energized, the coil is energized, the pole close and, and 2 and 4 get connected to each other. That means the circulator will get power. That's what we have here, single pole, single throw. So. In this case, 1 and 3 is on, on my right side here, right here. So if we look closely, whatever comes out from the transformer, this blue wire is connected to number 3, and there is the other end of the transformer, white wire, connected to number 1. That means the coil is energized. Once the coil is energized, this is actually 120 volts and this is 120 volts to the pump so these two and four get connected to each other each other and that way it supplies power to the pump that's how the pump runs in this case what I'm waiting for is once boiler temperature is reached and I'm measuring the temperature on supply and return so supply is about 180 degrees and return is about 150 degrees in this case while I'm here. Once the temperature is reached, burners will shut off, but circulator pump will keep running. I'm just waiting for temperature to reach 180 degrees. Once that's completed, the aquastat will break the switch here, burners cut off, and pumps still be energized because there is still for still call for heat.
so the pumps running and uh, that is actually good to go that's what I wanted to confirm even though the burners are off pumps still on right thanks for watching and please like and subscribe that way I can have more videos and more experiences brought to you thank you